What's up, YouTube? It's Ollie Beans from I Freaking Love This, and today I've got another free giveaway for all you streamers out there. Today I'm going to be giving away 100% free, done for you, Twitch chat overlays. Now, what is a Twitch chat overlay? Well, it looks a little something like this, right? And so what this does is it allows you to have your chat right in front of you. And then it also allows you to have some information underneath, including your logo and your social media links. And so that way you're taking advantage of all the real estate that's on the screen without just showing your face. Now, these uh, free Twitch chat overlays will work with standalone OBS. They'll work with Stream Elements, Stream Labs, or pretty much any streaming tool out there. But enough about me chatting. Let's get right into Twitch chat overlays, how to use them, and how to get them. All right, folks, to get these 100% free, done for you, Twitch chat overlays, you just want to head to discord.ollybeans.com. I'll, of course, put that link in the description below for you. That'll take you to this welcome page, which will welcome the bottle will welcome you. You want to go to the rules channel, read the rules, and then react, essentially saying that you're not going to be a in my server after you've done that all these other channels here will appear for you and you want to head right to streaming resources and you want to find the free twitch chat overlays zip file just click here to download the zip file and then you just want to unzip it with whatever you use i use 7zip um, but you might use winrar or whatever you use to unzip your files all right now that you've got these downloaded let me show you what they look like and let me show you how to use them in stream elements stream labs and obs in general <laughs> All right, and here we have the downloaded and unzipped files. You can see here I've got multiple color combos, and they do match up with these stinger transitions, webcam frames, and OBS alerts I gave away in other videos. And again, I'll link those down below. And so we've got black and blue, and then also black and blue with social. And you can see the little social icons appeared. And that's because I want to give you folks the option of whether or not you want to use these icons or whether or not you want to use your own or only have text information in there. But you can see there's multiple color combos for you here and they do match up with the existing giveaways I've done in the past and the ones I'll do in the future all right so first before we put these into OBS we want to use another tool to actually handle the chat portion I personally use Stream Elements. Uh, they've been great to work with. Um, I've never had any issues. I've never had a reason to call support. Everything's just straightforward and intuitive. And so that's what I recommend. But I'll be showing you how to do this in Streamlabs in a moment as well. So once you're signed in, you want to go over to the left hand, go to My Overlays, and create a new overlay. All right? We'll do this at 1080p resolution because that's what I stream at. And we want to go here. Add a widget, add a static custom image, set image, and here we have my overlay, right? But you can see here, I have the text done in, right? That's the way I prefer to do this. But to make this easier for you folks, we're going to want to upload one of the new overlays. So you click on the top right here for upload, and then let me find these overlays here. I probably should have had them ready. Let's start with the gray and green, right? Drag that over. We don't want to crop it because this is a 1920 by 1080 image. Upload that in and then submit it. Then we're going to want to make sure this is the right size, 1920 by 1080, right? And that takes up the whole screen here, right? Let's name this overlay. Okay, and make sure you save periodically, right? And then what we have here, here's the place for the chat widget, right? So we want to go here. You can hit this little button here. Add another widget. And we want to do stream tools, your streams chat. That'll put this here. And then you just want to line it up and give it some space on the outside. Right, give it a little bit of space, and then for the widget itself, you want to choose dark chat. The gr dark gray that I have here on all of the overlays matches exactly with the color of the dark chat 
because Stream Elements Chat Overlay doesn't give you the ability to do paddings or, or margins on the outside. So the chat was bunching up against the sides here. So what I did is I did this background image to match the dark chat option because it just looks the best. And that way you'll actually be able to have some margins on the side. And then here to actually put your URLs in here. And I don't know, my voice just cracked there. I'm an old man. I shouldn't be going through puberty here. And you just want to go to static custom, add a text box. And we can just do slash... Slash IFL this, which is what I do for my Twitter. Bring that over here. And then for the text settings, right? The font that I did is Poppins. I think I'm doing that in the wrong place. Yeah, I should do that here. is Poppins and you can use whatever font you want there and then let's make that a little bigger maybe 50 okay that looks good and maybe a little smaller 45 there we go and then you just want to repeat that process for the other parts here here's a section where you have room for your logo right so how would I add that I would go here go to static custom go to image Go to set image. And I already have my logo uploaded here. If you don't have it already uploaded, you would click on upload, drag it in, and upload it again. I'm just going to use this one. Plop that right here and put it in the center. Now, if you have multiple logos, I did make room so that way you can have multiple logos like I do on mine. And then you hit save. Also, for Stream Elements, don't forget to copy your overlay URL. We're going to be using that later. So you can either copy it when we get to that section or copy it now and paste it somewhere safe for later use. And that's all you need to do within Stream Elements. Now, next, I'm going to show you folks Stream Labs. I'll put a little timestamp down below if you want to fast forward to integration into OBS. <laughs> All right, and here we are signed into Stream Labs. Now, all you want to do to get to this page here is click on the All Widgets link on the left-hand menu. Then, to get your chat box, you want to, you guessed it, you want to click on Chat Box. There's a little video here, and I do recommend watching this, but we're not going to watch it together right now. You can go here, and this is an example of what your chat box will look like. Now, this is the default clean theme. You can change this theme up to different ones like this old school one that's a favorite of most but we're just gonna leave it at clean for right now I recommend keeping to show all these badges because your chat members and your community like to be recognized for the badges that they earned you can change the background color but this is for the preview only alright this is not gonna affect the final chat box text color I'd leave it at this light color or change it to white font size you can leave it the same here and I like to click always show messages and the reason I do this is the main advantage of having a just chatting screen is when people just join they can see what's actually going on what chat has been happening beforehand where the default twitch chat window doesn't actually show them what happened before they entered and then keep everything else the same you can change a lot of these settings there's a lot of customizations but for our usage today these will work save settings and then you want to go here and copy this url we're going to be using it later so you can either copy it now and store it in a safe place or you can come back here and copy it when we're actually installing this into obs all right now that i've shown you how to set up your chat widgets in stream elements as well as stream labs now we're looking at obs here and so what you want to do is just pay attention to the bottom of the screen. I apologize for the infinity view. And you just want to go here, down to the left-hand corner, bottom left corner. Click on plus, add a new scene. We're going to call this free Twitch chat overlays. And right when I hit OK here, it, the screen's going to go black for a moment. And that's because I'm changing the scene that's going to be active in OBS here. All right, so let's get back to the desktop view. And now we can see at the bottom left here, we have this scene I can switch to. Oops. And of course, I clicked on it. Right here at the bottom left, you can see that. I'm going to go into studio mode, so that way you guys can see 
what I'm working on while I'm still recording here. Okay. And so what you want to do is when you're on Twitch chat overlays, you want to then go to the bottom left here underneath sources, add, and then add a new browser source. Okay. And you want to create it, whatever, whatever you want. And then you, after you create that browser source, you want to paste in the URL that you created in stream elements or stream labs. Let's do that here. Stream elements, Twitch chat video. I'm going to name it that. So I remember what it is later. And then we're going to click. Okay. Here you've just added a browser source. And we want to make sure we match it up. 1920 by 1080 is the size for stream elements. And let's open up this chat box again here. Copy the overlay link. Go back into here. Paste that in. And then poof. You can see on the left hand side here. We have the overlay in place. Right. And if somebody typed in my chat. It appears here for you automatically and you can see here. It's all already added some padding around the sides for you And that's really all you need to do to fully get it set up now actually of course you want to add here your actual webcam So you go here Click on video capture device. I'm going to add my existing cam link here And then you just want to resize it to use what I do is I like to line it up here at the left hand side as well as the top side and then drag it out to meet the size of this. And boom, there you go. You have your stream elements chat widget and overlay working with OBS. All right, now let's move on to stream labs. <laughs> All right, and now here we are in Streamlabs OBS, or affectionately called Slobs. It is different than regular OBS, and it integrates better with Streamlabs versus with Stream Elements. We just use regular OBS with the Stream Elements plugin. So you've got Streamlabs OBS open. Uh, we've created a new scene. Let me walk you through that real quick here. Just create another scene. Then go here to Sources, and the first one we want to worry about is the image. So we want to click image here, add source, add source, browse, and we'll collect the, we'll select the just chatting blue social that'll pop it in there. And then you just want to drag it to size. Then the next thing we're going to do is hit the plus source again, and we're going to go to the chat box. And here is where, you know, in regular OBS, I could use the URL that Streamlabs gave me just like we did with Stream Elements. But with Streamlabs OBS, it's already integrated to your Streamlabs OBS account. So I can just click on chat box, add source here, and I don't have to use the URL. Now, I'm just going to set this to 750 by 750. I think that's a good number, but you guys can change that around if you'd like. And I'm just going to leave all these settings the same. I'm just going to move that in here and let's do a little test message. See if it pops up and there you go. Now again here, you can add your logo just like you added the background image in here if you'd like. And then to add your webcam, you would just add a video capture device. I'm not going to go into all of that now because I just don't want this video to be 20 minutes long, which it already looks like it might be. And so there you go. That's how you get the chat overlay to work. Actually, excuse me, with stream elements, you can add text beforehand. Here, you would add the text for your different URLs here. Going to text. Don't worry about the GDI plus mention there. Click add source. And then let's do this twitter.com slash IFL. This, if I can spell today, that font looks a little small. Let's bring that up a little bit. 48. Let's see if that looks good. Plop that here. That looks okay. If I wanted to edit that, I would just right click here, go to properties, and I can actually match the font that I used on mine to Poppins Light. Done. 
and there we go and you would just repeat the process here and there you go that's how you set up my free twitch chat overlay in streamlabs obs and there you have it free twitch chat overlays how to get them and how to use them and then you can match these up again with the webcam frames the alerts and the transitions that i also give out in discord.ollybeans.com i'll put links to those videos down below as well as the discord link to make it easier for you now of course if you found this video helpful if you got yourself a nice professional stream set up because of my videos i'd appreciate a like maybe even a subscribe and hit that bell to be notified uh, when i put out new content you can also, if you have any questions, you can stop by my Twitch. I stream under the name Ollie Beans three nights a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. You can come by, bust my chops uh, while I game, or ask me any questions about the free resources I give out, or if you need any support in getting them set up. I don't mind helping out my viewers. I'm Ollie Beans from I Freaking Love This. I'll see you in the next video. Be good to each other.